some 400 million years ago, the lands of planet Earth were totally without life. They were bare, naked rock, roasted by sun during the day, freezing cold at night, and swept by terrible storms. But in the waters of the world, conditions were much more stable. Life had begun there some 2,000 million years earlier still. For a long time, it remained microscopic, but eventually larger animals appeared. Jellyfish and corals, starfish and snails, and animals with segmented bodies. All needed food. Many would have eaten unguarded eggs, given the chance. And then, around 400 million years ago, some enterprising creatures found it safer to lay their eggs out of the sea, up on a beach. They still do. Every spring, on a few special nights along the Atlantic coast of North America, thousands of horseshoe crabs emerge from the sea. And here, in the wet sand, they spawn. They may only stay for a few minutes or hours, but animals like these may well have been the first of any kind to leave the sea and venture onto land. Although these creatures spend virtually all their lives at sea, they can survive surprisingly well on land. It's almost as if they were pre-adapted. They have shells, external skeletons, and that means that their legs are rigid and jointed. And at the back, they have a series of plates called book lungs, which extract oxygen from seawater but can also do the same thing if they're kept reasonably moist from the air. So, creatures like this can, in fact, spend about a week on land. And it only requires minimal modifications to enable them to live up there permanently. <laughs> 